I'm going to share four important things you need to quietly cut out of your life. We invite you to actively join us on this journey. Share your thoughts on each topic we cover and stick around. Till the end of the video, a journey of learning and growth awaits you. The next few moments are your chance to deeply reflect and better understand who you are. We believe the lessons we're going to share will enlighten and change your life. Let's get started. First point, when dealing with people who hurt you, dealing with people who hurt you, there's no need to explain yourself to those who cause you pain. There's no need to complain, argue or have a confrontation over someone's bad attitude. If someone has made decisions that disrespected and hurt you, even if they were someone you thought was a perfect friend, it's better to move on without seeking justifications. Stay calm and rational, focusing on yourself, focusing on your own growth. There may come a time when that person will need you and seek your support in that moment. Simply saying no is enough. And if you need to explain your reasons, do so if this person failed to show character and broke your trust. You're not obligated to help them, so there's no need to get into conflicts or fights. The best course is to quietly remove that person from your life as time will show the consequences of their actions. Focus on taking care of yourself and let the future reveal what's best for both of you. When we allow ourselves to move forward without the need to explain or justify our choices, we are showing deep respect for ourselves and our boundaries. It's important to remember that we are not obligated to associate with people who harm us or fail to value use. Each of us deserves to be treated with respect and appreciated for who we truly are. Thus, by choosing to quietly remove those who hurt us from our lives, we're making a brave decision for our emotional well-being and personal growth, allowing us to move towards a more authentic and fulfilling life. Second, unnecessary goals. Point unnecessary goals. There will be times when you realize the importance of making choices, acting in a certain way, or staying true to your own path. Sometimes, you'll need to abandon certain goals to prioritize the path that aligns best with your essence. It's completely normal for this to happen as we don't always achieve everything we plan. And at times, it's necessary to give up some things in favor of others. However, it's important to silently eliminate these unnecessary goals without broadcasting your moves to the whole world. Don't leave clues or loose information as this could reveal your main strategy. Be smarter in this process, quietly removing less important goals and making gradual changes in your life as the cards are laid out on the table. Always proceed with discretion, protecting your plans and allowing your decisions to be guided by authenticity, seeking the path most aligned with who you are. Third point relationships, be it relationships, Friendship or Romany, it's intimated details or vent to auths about the reasons behind the end of a friendship or relationship. The intimacy shared belongs only to you and the other person involved, and others don't need to know. The reasons, nobody has the right to know about fights or terrible situations, as this can only lead to gossip and make the situation more complicated. If you feel the need to talk, have a conversation with yourself and reflect on what happened. The urge to share might indicate that there are still unhealed wounds. Therefore, regardless of the situation, the appropriate action is to analyze these behaviors quietly without sharing with others. If you have a problematic relationship in your life, it's important to remove it without broadcasting the news to other people. Keeping these matters private and dealing with the issues internally will aid in the acceptance and healing process, preserve the privacy and dignity of all parties involved, and take care of your emotional well-being with wisdom and discretion. Fourth point, during periods of tension, avoid raising your voice in front of others and control your display of excessive frustration or anger. If you're upset, redirect that feeling towards actions that yield beneficial results. Use that energy as a driving force to advance your life goals and train your body to handle stress. Contain your emotions, reflect on them, and redirect the accumulated energy into something that strengthens you. However, proceed with caution and discretion, as losing control can expose vulnerabilities during tense moments. 
aim to dissipate this tension discreetly by resolving issues, fulfilling responsibilities, and using reasoning as your ally. Avoid broadcasting your difficulties. Instead, value what and who is already in your life. Cultivating gratitude, find a way to relieve emotional pressure quietly, seeking internal balance and healthier approaches to facing challenges. If you've made it this far, I ask that you leave a comment to show that you're truly seeking change. And watch these videos on the screen.